Welcome to Jesus Revolution Band and Preachers. Come on. Yes. Come on. And Come on. Today Once we're going to talk about something that is really, really exciting. It may not be something that really sounds exciting when you hear the word for you, depending on your background and how you're doing in life. But we're going to talk about church. church. We're going to talk about the church. Come on. And uh, to start out with, you're a pastor, aren't you? That's right. A bass playing pastor. Wow. Come on. Could you just start out this program with doing this bass stick, you know, thing? No, drumstick, bass drum play. Stick, yeah, not wow. bass stick, drumstick, bass. And let's do that. Yeah. That's really cool. Isn't it? Come on. Gonna talk about the church today. Yeah. Gonna talk about the church today. Gonna church the, the, oh. One more time. We're gonna talk about the church today. We're gonna talk about the church today. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the church today because we love it. Yeah. We're gonna talk about the church today. We're gonna talk about the church today. We're gonna talk about the church today, talk about the church today. because we love it. Yeah, yeah. Love the church. Yeah, yeah we Amen. really just do love the church, yes. don't we? Mm, that was great. Woo! Yeah. We love the church. Now, Matthew yep. chapter 16 and verse 18, let's see here, says, It says, I, oopsie, but a boom, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. So, what we do know is that Jesus. Is building his church, Daniel, isn't he? Come on. Right. Yeah. yeah. So God is working. What is the church to you, Danny? Well, the church is my family, my mm. community. Yeah. I mean, the church has also like an address, like a physical address. So I yeah. can tell like I have a church if I'm not going to church. Yeah. yeah. So every Sunday, it's going to be church. Come on. Is it just a Sunday thing, man? Well, it depends. If you want to take it like normal Christianity, it should be every day. Christianity, everyday it's a life, church. Eh? Yeah. It's a family, yeah. right? Amen. Amen. Yeah, it really is. It really, really, really is. Have you got the, one of those beats that you're having there, sir? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We hey. love the church. We love the church. That's what we do. We love. Now, why don't you take a little robotic dance to this one? Yes. 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 Come on. Do it. Yes. Come on. Go We do. Yeah, we love the church. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We love it. And we need you on the drums. I'm sorry. It was really, really good. Sorry, we need you. Let's take you back on the drums. Let's do it one more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. We love the church. We love the church. That's what we do. We love the church. Yeah. It's finished. <laughs> we, we love the church, don't we, Peter? Oh, yes, Come really. On. What do you we love do. the church? I mean, um, I think it's uh, the heart of God. Yeah. Church is God's will for uh, this world, actually. So, it is. Yeah, mm. and uh, Jesus gave his life for his church. And, and wow. how was that for you when you got saved? Christian, yeah. that was one thing. Many people, they say, like, Jesus, mm -hmm, okay, faith, or perhaps, you know, they don't know what it is, of course, but then church, going to a church. Yeah. Like, how was that for you then? Now? Yeah, like, like when you become a Christian. Yeah. I mean, I remember before I got saved, I thought, you know, church, religion, tradition, uh, it's nothing like, like dead people yeah. in the church. <laughs> church, religion, tradition, <laughs> dead people, oh no. Is that a reggae kind of thing? Yeah. Church, religion, tradition, oh no. That's what people think, right? Yep. Church, it's a bad reggae song though. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yes. But then I understood what the church actually is. 
And what is it? God's people. God's yeah. people. Yeah. yeah, and it's family. Amen. It's community. Yeah. Uh -huh. And I, I understood that church isn't about the building. It's about the people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Amen. What about you, mate? <laughs> well, the yeah, it's it's like Kevin said. It really becomes your family. Yeah. yeah, it becomes people you do life with in good times and bad times. And it's in so good, good to times, have a church. in bad times. <laughs> yes, I'll be on <laughs> your side forevermore. <laughs> That's what <laughs> friends are for. <laughs> so, this is a worship song. <laughs> no, Probably I don't think we so. can make it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. sorry, sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's, I mean, it's the body of Christ, yeah. right? The yeah. body of Christ. And uh, at, at least, you know, with my wife, if I would tell her I love you, but I don't love your body, <laughs> that uh -huh. doesn't really work, right? It doesn't really work at all. I mean, it's the same thing with Jesus. You love it all. We love it all. That's we right. Love all. And we love his body. Yes. Even though it can be uh, messy things sometimes, mm -hmm. but uh, that's how it is in families, right? Yeah, you yeah. Know, and that's also how you grow, actually, like by yeah. being together with other people, loving other people, cool. being that's loved right. by yeah, them, doing right. life together, so good, so good. Yeah. and learning about the Bible together, worshiping together. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. It's so powerful. Yeah. Listen to this. He put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things to the church, which is his body. Like you mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. the fullness of him who fills all in mm -hmm. all. So if I really want to have Jesus in his fullness, mm. yeah. it is with his body. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Right. Right. wow, wow, wow. Sam, what are you saying? Yeah, I love the church. Uh, I love the part also of the fellowship. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're, we're called to live life, not just us and God and fellowship with God, yeah. but also with other people. And the greatest commandment is not just to love God, but to love your neighbor as yourself. So mm -hmm. and if you never, if yeah. you never surround True. yourself with people, you will not be able to put that into practice. Ah. Yeah. Good point. So good, we need good, to love good. people and we need to be around people. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. good. Now, Ephesians actually says in chapter 2 and verse 20, something amazing when it talks about what the church really is as well, because it says, mm. let's see what it says. We need to have a bit of a dramatic no. <laughs> kind of thing here, okay? Is that as dramatic as you can do it? <laughs> okay, yes. listen to this. Yes. Now, therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God, having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, Amen. in whom the whole building being fitted together grows into a holy temple yeah. in the Lord, yeah. in whom also you are being built together for a dwelling place of God Amen. in the well, Spirit. Yeah. Yes. That's what the church is, yeah. Yeah. right? Mm. It's a house of God where His Spirit dwells. It's a house of God, a holy temple. Yes. It's a house of God. <coughs> Sorry. It's a house of God yeah. where His presence dwells. Yes. It is His only temple. And this is the thing. To come to the church is to come to where? The house of God. House of God. Wow. God is inviting us to be a part of His house yeah. and his church and his family his body yeah. his temple yeah. yeah and i kind of really think that many people are not really understanding fully what the church is because they, if they did they'd be there right yeah because because it's it's kind of like so god is inviting every week to have a communion with him in, right. in also the, the lord's communion right yeah. yeah it's like jesus is inviting for dinner yeah, yeah. and you're too busy to be there right yeah. And that's, you know, it can't be like that, right? Oof, no. So true. here's the thing. I really do believe that any Jesus revolution is a church revolution. Wow. Any, any, any time where God's church is awakened, yeah. people are getting passionate about His house, yeah. getting passionate yeah. about His church. Yes. Yes. The holy temple of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So you know what? I just want to thank you, Lord Jesus, yes. because there is something called your church. Yeah. I want to thank you for the opportunity to serve 
in your temple. Yes. I just want to say really thank you, Father God, that you've given us your church, Amen. supernatural house yeah. where you are dwelling. Yes, so let's try it one more time. Just to sing, it's the house of God. Two, three, four. It's the house of God. It's His holy temple. It's the house of God. Where His presence dwells. It's the house of God. Full of His glory. It's the house of God. That's the story, right? Yeah. So. What else have you got to say about the church? What else have you got to say about the church? I mean, there, there are some amazing promises connected yeah. to the house of God. Like yeah. in Psalm 92, it says that those who are planted in the house of the Lord mm. shall flourish in the courts of our God. Yeah. They shall still bear fruit in all age. Yeah. They shall be fresh and flourishing, yeah. it says. So wow. to be planted in the house of the Lord, yes. I mean, it will make your faith endurance, right? Yeah. It's a place where you have people that are together with you, are praying for you, can go together with you in your Christian life. Yeah. Amen. And I mean, not so just good. on Sundays, but throughout the week or so to meet in the homes, to come yeah. together, to share life, to do life together. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of the secrets of like a lifelong walk together yeah. with the Lord is oh, really to be planted in the house of the Lord. So but good. if your church is a really, really boring place. <laughs> you know, like, oh, well, all right, welcome to the church, everybody. <laughs> it kind of feels like it's from the, the last millennia. What, what to do then? <laughs> well, I don't have that particular problem. <laughs> but, okay, anyway. <laughs> so you should maybe ask someone in, in that kind of church. <laughs> but uh, I would say... You can be the change yourself. Yes. Yeah. Be, the change be the change yourself. Because your passion for the Lord. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. You've got to, got to be. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. That's the solution. When you pray, God starts to move. When you pray, God starts to move. Everything that's dry will be filled with His spirit. Oh, oh. When you pray, they will be changed. When they pray, they will be changed. So, be the change yourself. One, two, three, guys. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. Come on, come on, come on. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. Be the change yourself. Now, but here's the thing. You don't really become a... Christian by walking into a church less likely than you are to become a car by going into a garage. Yeah. Deep thing, deep thing, deep <laughs> thing. So how do you actually become a part of this? It's not just through a membership, but it is through a relationship with Jesus. A relationship with Jesus. Mm, that's right. Because he is the head of the church. Yeah. And the door to become a part of God's family is obviously to have a relationship with the one who is the head of the church, yeah, Jesus. Right. And who have his, have him into your heart, how do you do that, Kevin? Mm -hmm. Well, you can actually, instead of religion, you can know Jesus personally. And Jesus, he gives this invitation, and it's up to you to say yes or no to this invitation. Yeah. Mm. And Jesus, he loved you so much that he actually died for you. Yeah. That's the demonstration of his love for you. Yeah, great. Right. So Jesus is knocking on your door, on it your is. heart. Yeah, and man. he's saying, hey, do you want me in your life? And it's up to mm. you to say, Yes, Lord, I want him. Are you tired of doing all the drugs and, and all, the, all the partying and all yeah. the sex and being around with women and, and, and guys? Listen, only Jesus can satisfy. Mm -hmm. And this is what you're going right. to experience when you're actually going to receive the Lord. Yeah. Jesus yeah. is the only one that can satisfy, yeah. that can fill up True. the emptiness that you have Amen. in your... Yeah. So, so actually, I just want to challenge you and encourage you to, to receive Jesus now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Let's pray, eh? Yeah. Lead us in prayer. Father. Father. I come to you. I come to you. As a mess. As a mess. And Father. 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 I want you in my life. I want you in my life. And I invite your son. And I invite your son. To become the Lord of my life. To become the Lord of my life. It's no longer my will. It's no longer my will. But your will. But your will. Lord, Lord, you will be the Lord of my life. You will be the Lord of my life. From this day forward. From this day forward. 
in Jesus name in Jesus name amen yes amen. that is so good yeah. amen We are a part of the family. We are a part of the family. The house of God. We are a part of the family. We are a part of the family. The house of God. We are a part of the family. The house of God. We are a part of the family. That's great, guys. We just love the church of God. We just love the church of God. Let's finish where we started in your bass solo from the Pastor Peter. Come on. Yes. Come on, guys. Yeah. 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 Come on. I have my practice ministry in Jesus Revolution and I find it amazing. So it's like a missions organization and I love it. It's, it's perfect for me. It's very practical. We travel a lot, we preach the gospel and we share our faith with people all the time. The thing I love about Jesus Revolution is that they, they have such a heart for you, such a heart for people and to really to carry out the gospel to like the whole world and not just doing that by preaching but also like in different ways like through media or I'm dancing in a concert team. And it's amazing to see how many testimonies we have of people actually deciding to follow Jesus or even people getting instantly healed. But you, you learn to live it as a lifestyle and I think that's normal Christianity. 